We're dairy farmers. We farm in the heart of Cheshire. We are currently milking 450 cows and we're expanding to about just over a thousand. We're in an aging unit. It needed quite a bit of investment. So the logical step was for us to more than double our cow numbers and facilitate it with new facilities. We've invested into the business through two key areas really. The first one is the actual direct farm infrastructure. So we've now created a, a new farm track for the Tesco's Rotary Parlour. We've got a new 5,000 square metre shed which will house an additional 600 cattle um, in the herd. An 8 million gallon slurry lagoon, a half million gallon water lagoon to complement our two existing boreholes. And the second element really is an infrastructure investment in renewable energy. This is a joint venture between myself and Freshfield Energy. Our aim is to utilise 20,000 tonnes of slurry that the farm produces in order to create sufficient energy for the entire farm. The benefit of the anaerobic digester is both environmental and financial. Environmentally we'll be reducing odours around the farm, we'll also be reducing the nitrates in the soil and it will also enable Evan to move from expensive chemical fertilisers to a free natural fertiliser in the form of digestate. We needed quite a bit of investment done around the farm so we started to look at it together and went on from there really. Uh, Rotary Parlour is designed to handle a large number of cows. We're currently milking 12 hours a day. In that we should be able to milk just under 9 hours a day with the larger amount of cows. Well, the benefit that Evan and I have is a very symbiotic uh, approach. We need each other, that much is clear. We need each other financially. We can't afford to pay for this all ourselves. But we each have skin in the game. Evan is a tremendous award-winning farmer. I know that if I invest in him, he will be around for the long haul. And the installation of new infrastructure means that Evan will want to be uh, staying as a tenant. The way we've, we've, we've designed it all and how we've spent a lot of time investing in it, it'll hopefully give me more time with my family. At the moment I've got one son, John. He's expressed interest as the others are all very keen. I want to build a sustainable future for my kids within the industry. I only took over from my father two and a half years ago. We're already embarking on arguably the biggest investment we have ever made as an estate. And yet we're talking about succession. In 25 years' time, Evan and I, I hope, will be long retired. We each have sons who have expressed some interest in, in what we're doing uh, in our work, but the future is entirely open up to them. It'd be nice to see that our effort hasn't gone to waste, but we'll watch this space. <laughs>